Honourable uh, Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs, I must remind him, Honourable Minister, while you were playing schoolboy chess, I was representing this country at swimming in the Central American and Caribbean region and football. So please come down from there with these attacks about who is patriotic and who is not. It seemed that you, you look like you're uh, in a national unity debate because you s boasted that you lived in Karapachima for one year. But we have people who live in Kar Karapachima all their lives, in Barakpur, in Princess Tong, in Kuva, in Naparima, who have never seen life so hard as it is now because of the geographic discrimination of your PNM government. When you held open pyre, when you banned open pyre cremations without an iota of science, what were you talking about? Unity. When you banned rivers but kept beaches open, when you attacked doubles and you talk about Calcutta ship, you come here to pretend that you love one country, one people, because you live in Karpachima for a year. It sounds like Donald Trump saying that he has one black friend who comes to dinner once a year. The most abhorrent personal attacks against former Prime Minister Patrick Mervyn Augustus Manning were made by your current Prime Minister, the Member of Parliament for Diego Martin West himself, Keith Christopher Rowley, not by the UNC. The UNC did not work all beyond Patrick Manning. The UNC did not take shame and say that, take pleasure in his, in Patrick Manning's illness. That was the Member for Diego Martin West live on a political platform. So don't tell us that the Sen U Senator Roberts, Senator Roberts, the member for Digo Martin West is a member of the parliament and you cannot impute improper motives, which is what you're doing, so I will ask you to please just move on. Go on, ma'am, but I'm not. I'm stating facts. The member said that we attacked the gentleman. We never did and we never will attack a person who is ill or sick, no matter how. We may disagree with policy. That was done by the member for Dago Martin West and no one else. We are proud of our country. We are proud of Trinidad and Tobago. Don't lecture us about our country. We shame of the PNM. We shame of the government. We shame of your performance. They are modernizing the ministry, says the minister. What you're modernizing it with? Coal pot and a bike rack? Then there was the Minister of Tourism, who could not even differentiate between sport tourism and sporting tourism. I won't even bother to dignify his response as he read from something give handed to him by another minister, when this government has just tendered out after seven years for a master plan in sport tourism. And I just remind him, and I correct the record for the children that are looking on on Parliament Channel, that the Prime Minister Keith Christopher Rowley, the member for Diego Martin West, Honorable Minister of Tourism is not the head of state. Try to read a book. Minister in the Ministry of the Attorney General, Head 23, the minister went on to talk about the work with the international bodies on the rights of the child. That was fantastic to hear, but I would like to hear about the rights of the children in the Judith Jones report received by the PNM since December 13, 2021, who are still in the hands of monsters, who are still being raped and abused and battered without a decision from this government. So don't tell me about international children. Tell me about my children right here who are in harm's way. Tell me about what about Yaelvi Sarabia? I'm sure certain members of the government, all of y'all don't even know who I'm talking about. Yaelvi Sarabia was a baby in his mommy's arms on a boat in the Caribbean Sea in the Gulf of Paria who was shot in the head by our Coast Guard as they were fleeing Venezuela for a better life. What about him? Where's the justice? Where's the report? Tell us about that. The Honorable Minister in the Ministry of the Attorney General quoted Patrick Manning about the protection of social fabric. That was a good quote. Patrick Manning is a brilliant speaker, very eloquent, intelligent. But I will also quote from the Honorable Patrick Manning right in the Hansard in a, in a different place where he also said, Mr. Speaker, I see hate. 
I see venom. I see a man totally out of control, Mr. Speaker. We do not tolerate bullying, Mr. Speaker, in our schools, and we will not tolerate bullying in the cabinet. The way of my learned friend from Dago Martin West, when he does not get his way, Mr. Speaker, is to bully you. We will not tolerate bullying in the cabinet. If the member wants to bully, he will have to form a cabinet of his no own. Well, you, my colleagues of the PNM, did not listen to the great Patrick Manning because you allowed the bully to form a cabinet, and now the entire country is being bullied.